There's no doubt this is a beautiful area to drive through. But it seems to get prettier the closer to Estes Park you get. I'm quite blessed to be able to take this little trip today. The weather is still warm enough where I can stay outside up here. And then I'm planning on going south after that where it'll still be warm for a little bit longer. appointment this week. If I didn't have that appointment, I could take off right away. Yeah, I'm hoping to get down and see Ure and the Million Dollar Highway and stuff like that that I've never seen before. I've been to Estes Park before, but I didn't get any video footage of it. I really wanted to be there when the elk herd was active. There's always about 30 some elk just hanging around the elk meadow there, but this time of year there's thousands of them that congregate in the city of Estes Park. And Saturday, today is uh, Thursday, Saturday they're having an elk festival in Estes Park. So it's going to be very packed. I'm probably just going to check out the crowd and a few things and then exit. So I'm really only going to have one day to explore Estes Park. Which isn't enough because it's a very large area. couldn't figure out how to place a reservation at the campground with the app that the government has. Um, I tried and I couldn't figure out which one was which and where and how to stay there. And, and the problem this time of year is a lot of campgrounds are closing now already. I've seen that sign up on some state parks. And of course, this is a high tourist season because of the fall foliage and the elk up here. So the prices are a bit jacked up. <laughs> 